Some coverage now from Super Bowl 57 from Arizona. The NFL uses the the week before the big game to reach out to communities there and grow the game. And News Channel's Dave Alley is live in Phoenix where he attended an event that allowed kids to rub elbows with some of the big name players. Hi, Dave. Well, hi, Beth and CJ. We're here inside the Super Bowl experience at the Phoenix Convention Center. This event just opened up a couple of hours ago this afternoon. As you can see behind me, it is packed, it is rocking. The Vince Lombardi Trophy uh, just a few yards behind me here. Now, before this opened up for the fans, about 100 kids from local schools, well, uh, they were here and they had a chance of a lifetime uh, opportunity to not only meet but also play some football with some local uh, legends of the sport. Now, this was a, a private event. It was held by sports uh, apparel company New Era, and these were invited middle school students. They were given, again, a chance to, to learn the proper techniques and fundamentals of the sport and helping out the personal instruction. Former Arizona Cardinal stars, receiver Larry Fitzgerald and quarterback Carson Palmer, as well as former Seattle Seahawks star running back Marshawn Lynch. Beast Mode was here. Now, the trio are three of the biggest names to play in the NFL over the last 20 years. Fitzgerald, certainly the greatest Cardinal in the team's 35-year history here in Arizona, and each of these stars took the time to take the field to play a little touch football and later on provide some words of wisdom and inspiration to all the kids. To see kids um, playing flag football, excited about the game, excited about the sport, um, it's just great to see. You know, uh, you know, I did it as an amateur, I did it as a professional, um, and my best and most fun and fond memories are from my amateur years. And you're just playing for the love of the game and, and the love of competition, a chance to win. Um, that, that's what excites me and, and that's what I'm excited to see today. Yeah, you could really tell Paul Palmer was having a lot of fun with the kids out there. Now all the kids spent a couple of hours going through various drills to hone their skills. Now besides the pros, the kids were taught by a team of elite coaches brought in to Phoenix uh, from around the country. And speaking of which, fans from all across the land, coast to coast, they are arriving in mass now into the Phoenix area uh, as the game draws closer. Now we're just, uh, what, uh, four days away from Super Bowl 57. You can really feel the city filling up now with fans from all across the country as uh, the streets now, the restaurants, the shops, all the other places around uh, the downtown Phoenix area, certainly a lot fuller than they were when we arrived just a couple of days ago. And here for the Super Bowl uh, experience, a kaleidoscope of colors as fans from all across, uh, uh, fans from all 32 teams wearing their jerseys proudly, their hats, the, the jackets, the shirts, and all that is a blast here at the Super Bowl experience. Again, we're going to have a little bit more on this later on in the week. But for right now, though, reporting live in Phoenix, Arizona, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Allen. All right, thank All you. Right. Phoenix is a big city. This is the place to be. Yeah, and you wonder how many of those kids we saw are future Hall of Fame That's right. NFL players. Yeah. All right, All right, thank you, Dave. Well, two local business owners want to increase activities for kids in the San Ynez Valley, so they opened up an arcade in Solvang today. And News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti shares why the owners believe this will help kids in the community. From Godzilla to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this new arcade center is projected to become a game changer in Solvang. It's the first one in the area and just looking to create a space for people to come to with their families and loved ones and make memories and have fun. Whether you're playing the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Racing Game or the NBA Jam, Fun is the name of the game. It's just nostalgia, but it's also something to do in the valley. Chef Michael Cherney and his wife Sarah Cherney of Peasants Feast in Solvang believe more youth activities are sorely needed in Solvang. There's not a whole lot of activities outside of, you know, eating, drinking, and organized sports. Hopefully this provides a little gathering place for kids and adults. I definitely need something for that, like, you know, 10 to 18-year-old demographic. One of the games projected to be a hit is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pinball game. Just don't ask me how to play it. Never done it in my life. We've got a two-seat Fast and the Furious car racing game, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Mortal Kombat, NBA Jam. The, the old pinball machines are really what my attraction is. And if you don't know how to play a pinball game. I think I lost. Or Hockey Arena. No way again. That's okay. You can always sing to the pinball game theme songs. Ninja Turtles, Mutant Ninja Turtles. In Solving, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.
There's always a first time for everything, right? <laughs> Leave it up is. to Patricia. I love that. 